everybody, it's Jeremy. Welcome back to Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Poor boy, Otis. <laughs> this is our Beast Tamer Bard build, episode uh, 249. We're very close to that 250 mark. Um, okay, so we got a really cool eye gear. The Broken Trickster, which is kind of busted, right? Just how wrathful are the Righteous, though? I mean, pretty. we've been pretty wrathful. We've been kind of murking a lot of people here lately. In in fairness. Um, how's it going, Jay? I think we are going to... I want to put Broken Trickster on us, I think. But I'm trying to see, is there a headpiece that we would wear instead? Oh, we could put our um our heart of the uh, hat of the heartening song back on, so that we can get some uh, regeneration and stuff like that. That'd be pretty cool. Um, it's every four levels, so it's one five nine thirteen seventeen. So we should get uh fast healing five. So every time we play a song, everyone who's affected by it gets um. Uh, five regen a turn, which is, I mean, that's not crazy, but that's pretty awesome. You say we, but am I righteous? Fuck yeah, I'm righteous. Get out of here. <laughs> yes, motherfucker. I'm super righteous. Okay. Uh, that does mean, though, we have glasses of undeniable truth. Um, That need to be paired with the robe of unspeakable truth. Oh, right, 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 right. Uh, we could put those on. Hmm. Maybe we're not. Uh, I mean, actually, we could put those on. It's not going to be as good, but we could put those on. Um, Stila, <laughs> that's funny. Actually. Robe of... Da-da. Oh, I didn't take it off. Uh, so the robes of undeniable truth combo with the glasses of undeniable truth. We will want to wear them in pair or unspeakable truth, right? Oh, so. Giving her a 31 aura, 10 foot aura of fear isn't bad, honestly. And take off, yeah. Give, also gives her a little a little boost to her wisdom. That's pretty neat. Good. Uh, this way we get uh, Broken Trickster, which is cool. We're actually not getting a boost to our wisdom because we were already getting a boost to our wisdom. So it's not actually doing anything there. But we do get the, um, we get the addition of the Hat of Heartening Song, which I think is... Uh, a little little optimization. And then we also get the resistance to damage if we're getting uh, targeted by stuff. So that's kind of cool. Um, a la, if, we, if something runs on us and hits us, right, with a melee hit, then we get some damage resistance to that for the rest of the round. So that's cool. Natural armor bonus, reflex, and fortitude saving throws. Yeah, that's fine. I think it's fine. I don't think it really matters that much. All right, cool. Um, do we do we want to try to put? Yeah, absolutely. Right. 
Whenever the, the wearer of the said band deals damage through a spell to one or more enemies, being temporary hit points for three rounds can occur once per five rounds per each enemy. That's nice. That's fun, right? But I don't think it it's so fun that we wouldn't just be like uh, two additional charisma, <laughs> right? Like it's just it's nah, it's okay. We are we are very happy to just be like goodbye. Um, boots. There's no boots. Yeah, it it feels very weird to me. This is I think actually something that I I feel is super consistent across a lot of. Um, CRPGs that I find like filling out every single gear slot feels like it should be a thing that happens but a lot of times it doesn't um, in a lot of different CRPGs it, it, it also depends on if you know exactly what items are where and what you want to get etc etc so but anyways um, okay that's pretty cool let's check real quick Each step is a new journey. Alright. Did not see anything. I guess we are just going to go ahead and head on in, shall we? But, my goodness, this is a cool area. Please. Think back this way, maybe. I enjoy our travels. Looks like the answer to that question the is... Struggles never cease. <laughs> Looks like the answer to that question is new. So that was interesting. I did not expect to just find and defeat a uh, Star Rattle. But I guess... I guess that's the... I remember. Oh! Now I remember. Oh shit. The helmsman has curled up on the ship's deck, hiding his face from view. Lumps appear and disappear along his back beneath his robe as though there isn't a human body underneath, but a metamorphosing ball of slime. Ah, oh, the helmsman's gonna ultimately be like a demon lord or something like that, isn't he? I remember everything. My goal, my purpose, my name. <coughs> my name my name is and then he's out oh oh nope he's he's out he's out all right hey it's nahindri interesting wasn't Star Rattle a Protean? Maybe the one you thought was a fake? Ooh, that's a good question. Uh, y you are correct. Star Rattle was a Protean. Um, so I don't know. Uh, okay. <laughs> apparently, apparently, Nahindri's uh, back in it, boys. Uh, the Demon Lord Nahindri died many centuries ago. Sure. How dare you disturb me? How dare you interrupt my eternal suffering? I mean, you asked me to do this, my dude. For this, you yourself will suffer. Maybe you need to calm down. A wave of heat hits you in the face, but heat alone is not enough to defeat you. Your mythic powers, instinctively awakened by the threat, shield you from the demon's attack. Oh. oh my, it's enough to make an old man dizzy. <laughs> Come over here, treasure. I believe I have things to tell you. Okay, I'm I'm interested now. I will say I will say uh, up till this point there there have been things I have found. 
basically, the what I found interesting about the Midnight Isles DLC is those instances of finding, like, the item that's like, here's the next bit of story. So that has been fun. The story bits that I am getting are fun. It's just a little long between, right? Um, and I think it's designed that way because it's it's trying to be like, a, oh, jump into this as a roguelike kind of scenario. So I'm not sure the gameplay loop is going to hit me like it like it might be intended to um but i'm really intrigued by the story so let's uh let's see how it goes there is no more hunting to be done today i was right to bet on you my sea you aren't scared of some feeble shade of the past a shade of the past my past we have found our first treasure my memory Know that I am all that is left of Nahindri, once the greatest and the richest of demon lords. I was tricked and slain, but a demon lord can vanquish even death itself. That is why we say it. You are after the treasures that were once mine. Don't be shy. Line your pockets, Nahindri. Generous. I, I seek something more important, something immeasurably precious. Myself. Okay, and before I continue, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump back real quick uh, to earlier conversation, which I think was actually in the prior video. Uh, but I remember now, it's not it's not that Nahindri is the body of the Midnight Isles. Uh, the demon lord that Nocticula slew, the, the demon lord of Harpies, is the body of Alushinira, right? And her blood made the Nahindrian, this is what we found out recently, right? Her blood made the Nahindrian crystals. They are called Nahindrian crystals because... No one actually knows what the fuck they are, right? But Nahindri was once the greatest and richest of demon lords, right? Um, so they're referred to as Nahindrian crystals in a kind of combination of like, oh, these things are super rare, they're super valuable, right? Like they're in the Midnight Isles or, or the area that, you know... Uh, Nahindri used to rule, or, or that kind of concept, right? So it's it's more of like a marketing term. It's more of like a buzzword of like, oh, they're Nahindrian crystals, but they may or may not have to do have anything to actually do with Nahindri himself, right? Um, so I I think I my mind's been working through it the entire time and then when we got through this, I was like, oh, oh, hold up. So I think that's the situation. Anyways, moving on. Do not fear the shade that hides within the chain. Don't listen to it. Or better yet, forget about its existence. In a way, that shade is me. The pathetic, impotent part of me. I wouldn't tolerate its presence on my ship if it didn't have its uses. It holds the shreds of my memories and shows me the way to that which used to be mine. The ludicrous chain is our guiding thread. By following it, we will find all of my treasures. Oh, how I long to retake what was lost. Are you ready for a new voyage? Then off we go. Who are you? Once, in days long past, they called me Nahindri. But that name has long been forgotten. You may call me the Helmsman. What's that horrific shadow that's bound to the ship's chain? What is it? What does it want? Okay. Alright. Very interesting, I think. Very, very cool. Um, okay. I am now intrigued by this concept. Um, the only thing is, is I don't know how long 
the Midnight Isles DLC is. Um, and it's it's interesting to me, but I don't know that it is riveting, right? Gameplay, <laughs> because it's basically me just like full buffing myself for ten fucking minutes and then running through. I will say this: there's less islands now. Um, that interests me. I'm glad we came to check because last time there was like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten islands or something like that. Now there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, there might have been more than ten, but you get my drift, right? There are fewer islands now, and that does intrigue me if we're going to get, if we're going to get better rewards, if things are going to be more interesting, if things are going to potentially be more difficult, and if they are potentially going to be shorter, I think maybe I'm Should good I? hmm. for the situation. So, fuck it. Let's uh, let's jump in. Oh, well, let's talk to the navigator real quick, actually. What treasures have you already managed to acquire? Let's see. I've seen gold, pretty rocks, magic items, the usual. That's the kind of stuff our your predecessors made off with. I've also heard things about that scary-looking chain and its secrets. But I keep my distance from that thing, and so should you. It doesn't look like treasure to me. You know what it looks like to me? Trouble. See that chest with eyes over there? We picked it up on one of our particularly fruitful runs. I don't know if it can be considered genuine treasure, though. All it does is nag the crew to give it money. But if you give it a big enough sum, it can cop up some rare magical gear in exchange, so I guess it's not entirely useless. Ah, fucking hell. What? the fuck oh oh i uh i downloaded one of the free lcs gotcha that's what this is i'm prepared i'm trusting you hum 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 all right, fuck it. Yeah, we're just going to go in. We're going to go in. We're going to see what this new first aisle is all about. See if there's a big ramp in difficulty. Um, And I'm not going to lie, right? Like the, the in introduction of Nahindri being involved in this has me way, way more interested than I was previously. Uh, at the beginning of Con... That all creatures are affected by the haste spell. Ah, uh, right. So we want to get through here ASAP. I can handle it. Ooh. That's not especially pleasant. The light take you. Um, let's do a... not hit the other one. Interesting. Um, assuming, yeah, these cannot be fucked with by fear or compulsion, meaning that Nineo is basically useless in this particular moment, which is fine. It is what it is. Let's see if we can disintegrate one. We can. In theory, at least.
That guy just hit Sosiel and get knocked down. It does look like that's the case. Protection plus three. Okay, we're immediately starting to get better stuff. I feel like a chosen one. Interesting. Can't make the demons wait. Please allow me. Okay, are, why are you still on? Draining my stuff, are you? Here comes trouble. Here comes trouble. It's us. We're trouble. Oh shit! It's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, what you call it? What you call it? I remember when we saw our first one of you, and we were terrified. She was cool. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Okay, we're still doing fine as far as, uh, battles go. Beautiful. Race of, of Armor plus five. Okay, so we're, we're... We're into gear that we're actively wearing at this point. So um, that's a good sign. That makes me hopeful that uh, more of the equipment we find is going to be uh, very powerful. Or at least comparable, uh, right? Which could mean that uh, we'll just make a lot of money. You know, that's, that's also solid, conceptually. Ooh, I wonder if we can just kill this one. Yes, the answer to that question. Nice. Also nice. Nice try. Not Super nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> Mithril ingot. Nice. Glass, shattered glass. That's some fun stuff. <laughs> Uh, Merilith Conqueror, you say? <laughs> Yo. We're also scaling up in enemy types pretty quickly. <laughs> but not to the point to where I'm like, oh no, right? Like, just to the point to where I'm like, oh, there's there's stuff happening. Cool.
Uh, we're gonna pop that. I think we will also... Brought some Mastodons. We can't, we can't not use them forever. I mean, I guess technically we could. I just don't think it would be very nice of us. I'd be pissed. I'd be very mad. Do we still have power attack off, Priscilla? I think we do, don't we? Plus 37? Oh, she has power attack on. We have, whatchamacallit? Uh, I need to double check everyone's stuff. Power attack is on. You don't do that stuff. Don't count. Uh. Okie dokie. Where's my freaking select everyone button? Select all characters. Again, I can't. This is the reason why I don't use Mastodons all the time. I just can't see anything. Do not be, do not waver. Oh no. We're uh, running out of stuff. We're running out of juice. Oh yo! The Vavakia. The Vavakias don't play. At least the ones we've seen in the past don't. Maybe they play now? I don't know. It's been a while. It's been a while since we faced real enemies, so it's kind of like I'm unsure of what is a challenge where. Well, you know. Sometimes it do be that way, and sometimes it do not. That's fine. You failed to sunder the dragon's armor. I cannot believe you. What does he have on him? Because it looks like he has invisibility on him. He has blur, I know that. It was just... No, he has invisibility on him. He has greater invisibility on him? Does he automatically, like, put greater invisibility on himself? No way. That does, that's not a thing. He has greater invisibility on himself. Why does he... Did, did, is there an item that I've forgotten about? <laughs> Probably. Nope, not that. That's no, not that. That. Yep. Happy Traveler's shirt. This shirt increases the wearer's base speed by 10. In addition, whenever the wearer travels for 50 feet or more and around, they are affected by the greater invisibility spell for one round. I completely forgot that that existed. <laughs> that that was even a thing. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, sure. That's fun. Guide my hand. Are you still here? He's still here. The answer to that question is yes. Not by much, though. The light. 
I mean, somebody just finish this thing. Let's see what we can do. Well, hello. What's that? Mythic Succubus Eliminator. The Nasher? The Nasher. Into the fray. You sound just very pleasant. Uh, fuck this. Can I... Can I weird... Once again, the game lies to me. Tells me that I can, but then I cannot. It's my own fault. Like, I, I can just read the spell Thank descriptions and be like, oh, I can't because this spell requires a full round action. So, um, I don't have a full round, or I don't, you know, et cetera, et cetera, so. It is my own fault. A name similar in effect to Reaver from the Fable series. Yeah. Uh, anytime I hear Nasher, uh, I, I, I either think of two things, and the first thing I think of is Nasher's Tooth from, um, League of Legends, right? The item that is, in theory, a, a tooth from Baron, uh, Nash, Nash, er, whatever. Um, but that makes me think, and has made me think of, for years, of, uh, Biter and Beater from Lord of the Rings. Uh, the, the biter beater and sting, right? So. We're we already have haste, so I guess we don't have to worry about this. Acha, okay. Uh, we definitely want to kill Nasher before. It does anything, but this guy goes first, so. Fingers crossed. Yeah! Super cool. Easy peasy. Alright, uh, let's roll the dice and try to weird everything. We killed a whole bunch of people there. Oh, that's fun. I, I love that. Now we kill Nasher. Very good. Fucking Bissing Eliminator. Ooh, but survives. Still survives. Does not survive. Nasher gets the jab stab. <laughs> the jab stab? Really? Okay, well, see, like, this is this is kind of meh. I mean, uh, I say kind of meh, but we uh, Enhancement 1 isn't actually that bad these days because we can turn anything into Enhancement 5. Uh, Ghost Touch is interesting. Um, that's kind of cool. But the it doesn't really... This doesn't feel like, oh my god, right? Uh, which is interesting because... We were getting items previously here that felt a bit better than that. Oh! Oh! Look at this little. Oh, all of the elements. Fiendish Elder Elementals. Yo, that's fun. This is this is almost kind of like a, a callback of terror to the water elemental in the first dungeon. Not the first dungeon, but the, the first major dungeon in the game. That is also a an achievement. Um, so that's kind of cool. Let's go kill this fire element. Into the fray. Uh, 
Uh, we're gonna firestorm the fuck out of everything in here. Killed, killed the fiendish elder fire elemental with a firestorm. Because why the fuck not? Right? Because Ember doesn't give a shit about what anyone thinks. That's 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 what's up. Uh, can we? Can we just fucking? Because we're gonna rest after this. Can we just fucking? Yeah, we can. Goodbye, Elemental. You you were who? Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for playing. That was fun. Well, that felt like a fun little throwback. Belt, belt of physical perfection? That's fun. Uh, not super useful to us, but fun. Whoa! Run away! Here we Run go. away! Run away! I shall not be swayed from my path. Well, the people might. I finished here. Is there more? All right, now everyone, get your asses over here. This is the type of shit that I was expecting in the previous location. We are the light. Yo, they hello. Are the darkness. Um, y'all just hanging out in here for reasons? Abyssal salamander. What? The fuck are you doing here? You're new. You're not on my list. The my blade. Holy shit. Really? Look at this guy. He's kinda cool. Desna, guide my hand! My god, I love the build that we have for Sila. I know it's not perfectly optimal, right? It, we do need to tweak it potentially, but like, holy shit, it feels really good. <laughs> like, god damn. He slaps. He just, she beats the shit out of everything. Calypso keeps her alive and does a fair amount of damage herself pretty consistently, right? Um, and she just kills everything. Like, she hits like a truck and consistently. What? Can we just kill this guy all right? Alright, well, you know. Sila, Sila will do the job again. I can handle it. Ooh. Greater selective meta magic rod. Okay. Hey, very interesting. Grants the wielder the ability to make up to three spells they cast per day reach as though using the selective spell feat. Um, oh. When casting a selective spell with an area of, of effect and a duration of instantaneous, you can choose a number of targets in the area equal to the ability score modifier used to determine bonus spells of the same type. Those targets are excluded from the effects of your spell. So that's really, really cool. Um, why is that cool? One, it's cool because it's a feat that we don't have to take. Um, right? That's awesome. Uh, up to three per day. Very, very, very neat. Um, what would we even use it on, right? Like, what types of things would we use it on? Um, we could use it on... Like Tsunami. That could absolutely be a thing that we use on. Um, for Ember, I don't know that Ember has anything that we are super concerned about at the moment. Uh, so she might be a no concern. Us, right? Like, we could actually use it on, um, what is it? Primal Regression. We could actually take that off, right? Uh, or we could remove our people from getting hit by it, potentially. Um, and there's other spells, right, that we have taken 
that we have avoided, or, or rather, there's other spells that we have avoided taking in the past because we're like, oh, this could be cool, but it's going to hit the shit out of uh, people. Uh, Sociol actually has some stuff. Uh, Polar Midnight, right? Like, Polar Midnight, we could... I don't know if Polar Midnight will work because Polar Midnight sticks around, but in theory, yeah, absolutely, 100%. It's controlled fireball as opposed to regular fireball. Um, so, in theory, on I, again, I don't know how Polar Midnight will work since it's a continuous thing, but it's very strong. Um, but something like... What do we got? Soul Reaver, right? All creatures within a 25-foot burst take... 20d6 living creatures, right? 20d6 damage. That's That could be a hefty chunk of damage, but also hits everything, right? So we can make this be like, except for us, right? And it goes off of your primary casting modifier. So for Sociel, Sociel can exclude eight targets, right? I could exclude 12 targets. That's the whole fucking team. Right? So that's really, really cool. Um, I don't know that it's something that we are super worried about at the moment, but it is something that I think as we get into like more difficult scenarios can maybe like help us optimize what we're looking at. And it, it opens, again, it opens up the idea of other spells that we normally wouldn't take could now be something that we take because we have access to that spell. Um, so that's very, very cool. Alright. And I think that's it. Or it feels like that's it to me. So, let's head on up to the exit. Leave the island with your spoils. Well, hold up. Back over here. Make sure we're not casually missing anything. Doesn't look like it. Okay. We will leave our island with our spoils. And that'll be good. We're going to go rest. We need to... I, we might actually have to go sell. Not entirely certain. But we're definitely going to go rest. Refresh our spells. a little light. Mm, we're still at light and our our um, animal growth stuff has all fallen off, so I would assume we're we're missing quite a bit of strength, so we're we're probably gonna be fine. Um, what do we have on us? We have Conflagrant Taco and Demon Slayer Soup, so we need to reapply Conflagrant Taco. Uh, ba -ba. Don't know why you can't just right-click. I don't know why you have to click on him and then go here, but it be what it be. Conflagrant Taco, and we go... Sounds good. Sounds good. My efforts to identify and record Ooh. paladin curse words. Hey, curse paladin words. Girl, I covered your armor with soot. You're like a little kid. I can't get upset with you, let alone swear at you. Come over here. Help me clean this armor. <laughs> no, absolutely not. I'd be like, I'd be, I'd be pissed. I'd be pissed. All right. That's going to be the end of this video. We're making progress. Uh, uh, there were only eight islands. We've already knocked down one of the islands. I think we. I, I think I am at least interested enough to keep going to the next island and seeing what happens. So um, that's going to be the end of this video. If you're watching on Twitch, stick around. We're going to keep playing. If you're watching on YouTube, hope you enjoyed. We'll see you next time for more Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. 
If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. It really helps me out. If you'd like to see me live, head over to my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash the distant horizon.